Right now, as I'm recording this, Tesla stock is worth roughly $340 a share, making the company worth a little over 1 trillion American dollars. But that doesn't mean it's necessarily going to last, right? Because there are a lot of new challengers in the EV market. So in today's video, we're going to take a look at whether or not Tesla should continue to dominate the EV market in North America based on their product offering and current competition, as well as upcoming product offerings and competition, or if there are or any other up and coming EV brands that might take the crown in the next few years that you need to be aware of. So let's dive in. Tesla has obviously been around for a while now. The brand was founded in 2003 and it actually struggled significantly during the early years. But by 2009, Tesla had less than $10 million in cash and was barely managing to survive at that point. The first real success that Tesla saw was in 2012 with the release of the first generation Model S. And fast forward to 2016, Tesla announced the Model 3 sedan, which has gone on to become a massive success for the company. Company, propelling it into the top spot for EV car sales. Still, by the 2020s, Tesla has become massively successful as a pioneer in electric vehicle production and has easily become the market and industry leader with the largest brand recognition in the space that's made it one of the largest companies in the world at this point, let alone just in the automotive industry. So where exactly does Tesla compare to other brands in the market today though? Well, we'll cover Tesla's current and upcoming innovations, but let's first talk about their market position compared to other brands. By far, Tesla's biggest competitor worldwide is a company called BYD, where in 2021, Tesla held 19% of the total worldwide market for EVs, but less than one year later, they were quickly surpassed by this Chinese EV manufacturer. Even still though, Tesla overtook BYD in 2024 once again, but even more recently, BYD has past Tesla. It's a back and forth game between these two companies with the current market shares extremely close and as follows. BYD currently controls roughly 17.1% of the global EV market, while Tesla controls roughly 19.9% of the market at the present moment. From here, other Chinese companies that aren't as recognized in North America like GIC controlling 5.2% of the market and then SAI GM Wuling 4.9%. So what happened here? Well, Tesla easily controls the North American market, that is for sure, but the Chinese super conglomerate BYD is quickly catching up in all other areas globally, such as market shares in other countries. But still, that's not the whole story. And this is why Tesla just might continue dominating North America, at least for years to come. Before we dive into the main reason that Tesla may very well continue dominating North America, we need to talk about Tesla's innovations, which are at the forefront of their massive success. When it comes to tech and actual product features, Tesla is just hands down one of the leading brands in EV battery development, autonomous driving, and sustainable energy. In fact, one of the latest features updated is the full self-driving, or FSD for short, technology, which was first made available in beta in 2020. This allows Tesla vehicles to drive in almost all conditions, and this technology continually improved and updated has massively improved in recent times, such as Tesla's updated speed profiles with the 12.5 update. That's been a massive improvement to full self-driving technology. Along with this, Tesla has built and operated the Tesla Supercharger Network and continues to upgrade this network periodically, giving it an economic moat that other manufacturers have a hard time competing with. So although the supercharger network was first introduced in 2012, Tesla has been upgrading the V3 stalls with V4 innovations as of January 2024. This is a huge innovation that allows Tesla to stay ahead of the competition as V4 charging posts have both longer charging cables and even a credit card reader, allowing other EV owners to charge their cars at the same station as well, even if they have a different manufacturer's EV. But that's only a small part of the picture.
future. What's also extremely exciting for the company is the upcoming release of the 2025 Tesla Model Y Juniper, which is projected to be released in early 2025. And there's a high likelihood that this vehicle will see a massive amount of success on release, considering the current version of the Tesla Model Y is their best selling model since release. The Model Y Juniper features many new innovations that bring Tesla back up to speed when comparing it to other EV brands, such as an increase in horsepower, a more sleek and modern design, most likely similar to the recently refreshed Model 3 Highland, and improved hardware for autopilot and full cell drive. Similarly, the Model 3 Highland now has up to 510 horsepower for the performance version, 360 degree acoustic glass, and even a rear entertainment screen, all of which just continue to make Tesla vehicles highly competitive product offerings. These new models will likely rise Tesla to the top of the EV market even further than it is already, at least as far as the North American markets are concerned. And this is especially true because Chinese EVs are going to have an extremely hard time even making it to North America in the first place. Let me explain why. Tesla undoubtedly has the first mover advantage in North America. And despite this though, the exponential growth that BYD has experienced is undoubtedly an important thing to be aware of for Tesla investors. Still though, there's a huge reason as to why Tesla isn't going to be surpassed by BYD or any other Chinese EVs in the North American market anytime soon. In May of 2024, it was announced that a huge 100% tariff will be implemented on Chinese manufactured EVs created to protect US manufacturers. And for the record, Canada went with this as well. And so this is along with the increase from a previous 25% tariffs for EVs. Additionally, a tariff was increased from a 7.5% to 25% on lithium batteries and 25 to 50% on Chinese made solar cells. So really North American governments are trying to protect their markets from Chinese made EVs, which is gonna make it a lot harder for these companies to make a product offering worthwhile at a certain price point for North American consumers to consider in contrast to Tesla's. And with many Chinese EV brands already struggling to compete in the American market, these tariffs almost guarantee the continued success of Tesla, at least when competing against foreign brands. Now, when it comes to other markets, however, Tesla has it much tougher. In 2023, BYD sold more than 1.6 million EVs in China alone compared to Tesla's 441,000. And while Tesla was still the second highest seller, there's a large contrast in terms of sales that make it unlikely that Tesla will retain its number one spot outside of North America. Globally, Tesla and BYD are also the top two battery producers for electric vehicles, but it's likely that BYD will eventually manage to surpass Tesla significantly unless trajectories change, since BYD continues to set up factories worldwide wherever tariffs aren't an issue. Okay, so BYD probably won't surpass Tesla in North America, but there are a lot of other potential competitors that Tesla investors and owners need to be aware of. BMW is actually rapidly converting its vehicles to EVs with the goal of achieving 20% EV sales by 2024. And BMW is a notable brand and consistently produces luxury vehicles that can compete with Tesla. Even though these vehicles don't yet have the same level of technology integration that Tesla's offer built into their three trim levels. Ford, Hyundai, and even Mercedes are also producing EVs in the United States market as well, with Ford controlling 8%, Hyundai 5.4, and Mercedes 4.6% respectively as of right now. Rivian Automotive is another EV manufacturer that is competing with Tesla, holding the fifth largest market share in the United States. And luckily for Tesla, however, Rivian's stock price has been falling in 2024 dramatically, down more than 50% since the beginning of the year, and will likely continue to fall according to current projections. Still, let's compare this to Tesla currently controlling 48.9% of the market share in the United States. And while this is far lower than Tesla's nearly 80% EV market share in 2019, the EV market is expanding rapidly as well. So even if they control a smaller portion of the pie, the pie itself is growing. 
Keep in mind that this is just my theory and this isn't financial advice. So take this part of the video with a grain of salt, but let's try to actually predict what may happen moving forward and answer the question of whether or not Tesla will continue to dominate the EV market in North America or not. So at the time of recording this video, Tesla stock has gained over 37% in value since November 5th, in parallel to Donald Trump's presidential win and the fact that Elon Musk has been heavily intertwined with this campaign. And keep in mind that in the third quarter of 2024, Tesla logged revenue of $25.18 billion, which is up by 8%. And because of this, many analysts are predicting continued growth from Tesla as long as the brand continues to innovate and provide the next level of EVs, specifically focusing on the autonomous vehicle side of things. And with Tesla specifically investing a lot into AI and autonomous driving, when compared to these other North American car brands, and competitors, this means that Tesla has the largest potential moving forward to capture that section of the market, which will undoubtedly be a massive market. So right now, Tesla stock continues on an upwards trajectory, at least for now. And many people are theorizing that federal regulations for Tesla could continue to decrease as AI and self-driving vehicles become more common and just more accepted. And while brands like BYD continue to surpass Tesla in quarterly revenue, it's highly unlikely that these brands will manage to integrate successfully into the North American market anytime soon. All in all, here's what I predict. Tesla is going to continue to be the main EV manufacturer in North America for at least the next few years. Where it goes from there depends almost entirely on whether or not Tesla manages to keep up with innovations in the market, but it's looking good right now. In fact, their upcoming Model Y Juniper is set to release in 2025, and I made a full video on it that you can check out right here. But as a Tesla owner myself, other North American EVs just don't seem to have managed to get up to the speed in terms of technology and features offered by Tesla, at least for the moment. I really hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, please go ahead and take a moment to drop a like, subscribe to my channel for more Tesla content, and check out my links in the description if you're interested in Tesla accessories and other videos. Also, what do you think? Is my prediction accurate? Let me know down in the comments. Thanks for watching. Make sure to watch one of these two videos right here, and I'll see you in the next one.